protests are back in Venezuela. This one in December was about the government's failure to provide promised pork rations in time for Christmas. But what everyone here is unhappy about is the worthlessness of their money. Inflation in Venezuela is the world's highest. Estimates put it at around two and a half thousand percent. The local currency, the Bolivar, has lost almost all its value against the dollar on the black market. And their country is collapsing. The situation is further complicated by Washington's sanctions against what it says is an undemocratic regime. The socialist dictatorship U.S. financial institutions are prohibited from dealing in new issue Venezuelan debt. But President Maduro says he has a solution. He's announced that Venezuela will launch its own cryptocurrency. Details are still awaited, but he's indicated it will be home-mined and also backed up by the country's oil reserves, with its value linked to the price of oil. For each petro, a barrel of oil. That's the value. Every petro will be worth a barrel of oil. The government has set up a national cryptocurrency association. At a conference here in November, its members, all supporters of the government, backed the idea. Cryptocurrencies and the petro will offer several solutions for us. We are not only looking to avoid any type of sanctions on our country, we are also looking to democratize worldwide finance. But there are skeptics. Some question whether this is really an attempt to launch a cryptocurrency or whether President Maduro is in fact attempting to refinance Venezuela's debt. The president has stressed that Venezuela's oil will be the collateral behind the currency. The opposition sees that as a way of mortgaging off the nation's as yet unextracted reserves. The petro is not to be, is no seen as a currency as a cryptocurrency. Why? Because it's a centralized issue of, of petrol by the government, by the Venezuela government. The best way to understand the petrol is to see the petrol as an issue of eternal debt. We found some confusion on the streets of Caracas about what exactly the petro will entail. I think I understand pretty much what the petro is, but I'm not sure the government does, because the petro can't be a cryptocurrency unless you allow a blockchain. If everyone cannot mine it, there's no petro, or at least no cryptocurrency. Can a government launch its own cryptocurrency? Or is the whole point of digital monies that they're free from state control? That's a question not just being asked here in Venezuela, but around the world. Stephen Gibbs, CGTN, Caracas.